Welcome to our Spring Boot tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with embedded databases. Our viewer is trying to access the H2 console in their Spring Boot application, but is facing some challenges. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help them out. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Get to access the H2 console in your Spring Boot application, you need to ensure that your servlet registration is correctly set up. Let's start by reviewing the servlet registration beam you've created. Next, ensure that you are accessing the correct URL for the H2 console. The URL should include your application context. For example, if your context is app context, the URL would look like this. Now, let's check your entity configuration. You have defined a user entity, but we need to ensure that JPA is correctly set up to create tables based on your entities. Finally, review your application properties. Make sure that your data source URL and JPA settings are correctly configured to allow table creation. Pay special attention to the dialect and the data source URL. If you still don't see any tables created, check for any errors in your console output. This can provide clues about what might be going wrong with your JPA configuration. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To access the H2 console in Spring Boot, you need to enable it in your application properties. By default, the H2 console is available at h slash length a localhost touched console. You can change the path by setting spring.h2.console.path to slash h2, allowing access at h slash localhost h2. If you have security configured, make the h2 console non-secured by adding specific configurations. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To access the H2 console in Spring Boot, use the default path HTTP slash localhost 888 slash H2 to console if you have the DevTools dependency. If not, you'll need to configure it in your application properties. Remember, this information is relevant for Spring Boot version 2.1.1, and it might be helpful for others. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To access the H2 console in Spring Boot, you don't need to define a beam. Just set the console path in your application properties.
you can access the console using the URL hush post h2 sleep console. It's important to set the DDL auto property to update instead of create to avoid deleting your existing schema. If you want to start a project for Spring Boot and H2, check out the GitHub link provided. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To access the H2 console in Spring Boot, check the official documentation for database initialization. A key step is to set the property for Hibernate. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.